How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and last time I got done um, taking on the Flockacy Ranch, as well as some, I don't know, what were they, school kids or something? But now I need to get schooled by Charon. Oh my goodness. So that's going to be intense. Um, so my team right now, not exactly ready to fight Charon just yet, because remember, this is challenge mode, Charon. So, he uses a level 14 Pokemon. I think two level 12s and one level 14, if I recall correctly. So, I want to get everyone to level 13 before I uh, take him on. So, I'm going to do a little bit of training. And, uh, yeah, once that's wrapped up, I'll head on over to the gym.
Alright, well, I finished training, all set, got everyone up to level 13, and suddenly, nearly. I'm just gonna jump off here, because I don't even care. Excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. Alright, some orange berries. Actually, that's great news. Those are orange berries. If you give one of those to your Pokemon, its hit points will be restored. What's more, you can give your Pokemon a berry to hold. Like this orange berry, for instance. When a Pokemon holds this berry, it can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regain some of its lost hit points. You know, life was nicer when I was the president. I just told you to challenge the gym leader. Aspersia's gym leader is a very strong trainer. He tried to take over the world once, but he failed, and instead he's just kind of training there for a bit. But don't let that scare you. You have nothing to worry about. If you think hard about what the Pokemon at your side can do and what you should do as a trainer, victory will be yours. And then you should take on stronger trainers and all that stuff. Actually, just go fight all the gym leaders. See if I care. Whatever. I'll be waiting. I got some TV to watch. Uh, wash up presidents, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you're unfamiliar with, uh, what is this Getz's 2020 thing and, or 2016, I don't know really when the one took place, but an alder being the president. This is actually from my black wedlock. I kind of played around a bit with the plot because it was so funny when Getz's did his little, um, uh, you know, his rallies with the Team Plasma flags and stuff. Uh, who was it when I was here last? Yeah, that's right. Oh, you don't have it yet? Darn it, I must have to beat the gym first. But yeah, so it was sort of an ad-lib thing where I changed the plot and make it funny. Have it sort of politically themed. So it's kind of weird. If that bothers you, I'm sorry that I'm not sorry, of course. <laughs> Um, because that's just how I roll. Alright, but I guess we have to take on the gym now, huh? Hmm. I asked Alder from Flockacy Town to teach here. He declined, saying it was the era of young people now, and ranting about <laughs> hipsters or something. Do you use items during Pokemon battles? If you'd like, try using this. I do, but not those kind of items. Um... Well, wow, that is pretty helpful if you're just fighting him normally, or if you don't have a problem using an X-Defend. Getting one here is actually very nice. I'm just personally not going to be using them. Um, one thing that is... Uh, oh, actually, these orange berries could be very handy. And I did teach frustration to Limbo, my Lillipup. I don't know how well it'll do, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and give berries to all my Pokemon here. Actually, you know what? On second thought, let me uh, let me take these berries off, because I'd rather save them for the gym leader. Um, I'll leave Jitterbugs on. I'm going to need Jitterbug for this. Okay, yeah, I do have a item restriction in here. Um, I can only use three items in battle per pair. And this does not count like Pokeballs and stuff, but I can only use like three healing items and stuff like that per pair. So that'll make it pretty challenging. I mean, you know, it's better than no items, of course, but I can't just spam items left and right. Anyway, hello, I'm Clyde, the, ge or the guide for the trainers who challenge the Pokemon gyms. Thank you for taking on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut. Why, thanks, pal. Appreciate the fresh water. Pokemon gyms are facilities for testing trainers' abilities. Hey, I rhymed. Put simply, if you can if you can defeat the gym leader, it means you're a really good trainer. If you run out of Pokemon that can fight during a Pokemon battle, it's game over. So having a lot of Pokemon with you might work to your advantage. Yeah, unless you're me. You must be a challenger. Welcome to Aspersia City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Charon, the gym leader. Hmm. Well, maybe I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. Hey, cronies, come on, get ready to take on this challenger here. If you can defeat these two youngsters, then I'll be your opponent. But I'll warn you, they may have taken out some Pokemon in the past. Yeah, I know. <laughs> who are these youngsters? I know exactly who they are. 
I had some trouble with some preschoolers way back in my um, Pokemon Black wedlock. There were so many instances where they just took me out. Now, I'm actually tempted to use Limbo here. Limbo doesn't really have a partner, but I don't really... I mean, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to handle whatever they have. So I don't think he'll actually need a partner. Charon saw potential in me and made me a trainer in this gym. I'm going to help him take over the world someday. All right. Well, let's just see about that, youngster Pedro. All right. So Patrat, huh? Okay. Mm level 10. That's not too bad. See, I'm thinking I could just use Limbo to take out these Pokemon here. Hopefully that ends up working, because I can't switch out to any of my other Pokemon right now. And that's a little scary. But at the same time, these trainers are not going to be as strong as the gym leader's Pokemon. So that's kind of refreshing, I guess. And Limbo is fairly strong, too. Ah, uh, Lillipup. Alright, so my Lillipup versus his Lillipup. His is at level 10. Mine's 13, but it has been affected by Leer, so that's not good. Uh, but it's not going to do anything too fancy, so that's nice. Now, I think Frustration's actually doing a little bit more than Tackle at this point. I was trying to kind of gauge it to see which was better. Um, and it looks like at this point, Frustration is. But that won't be the case always. Uh, I'm actually set with this. Now I'll show you all the things I learned from Charon! Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, if I can just get these two out of the way, that'll be great. She has two Pokemon as well. For some reason, I was thinking they only had one apiece. Huh, I probably should have used the other two. But, oh well. Oh well, I hate to say it, but I actually need them more. Um, I think Limbo could be very helpful, but without a partner... There's only so much he can do against the gym leader. All right, well, he's level 14. Now, the level limit, you know, that's, like, the limit that I'm at. It's not once I get to that point, I broke the rules. <laughs> it's just I can't go any past this point. And I don't think it's quite as severe as in the Platinum Nuzlocke where I have to release them, but, you know. Um, okay, well, got that under control. Cool. Uh, you know what? I think I might actually just use a potion. Other than that, I could just run over to the uh, Pokemon Center to heal, but that's that's kind of not right. I mean, it's okay. I have nothing against that, actually. Um, it's just I could do this right now if I wanted. All right, so let's give these Oran Berries to my Pokemon. I totally forgot that I have those. And we need to switch out Limbo right now. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think, though. I need Jitterbug for Charon's, um, for his Lillipop, because it, it has a, I think it has a berry. It seems like most everything does, so Bug Bite will be very nice. Um, but I can't use Jitterbug against the one. Uh, well, I think I used the berry, so I'm actually going to lead with Jitterbug. I think he has, like, a, either a Mancino or a Pedov or something. If he has a Mancino, that's... Interesting, but if it's a Pita, that could be really troublesome because I can't take that out with Jitterbug. Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. Oh man, that's right. I'm facing off against Charon, the first gym leader of the game, just in his tie and everything. And he's got three Pokemon because this is challenge mode. And his Pokemon are at a higher level than they would normally be. Um, yeah, so this could be interesting. Hopefully I can do sufficient damage to this Patrat. And that's not quite enough. Oh no, now it's using work up. Oh, this is really not good. Um, to have chosen that move. I see, you'll be a powerful opponent. I'm actually tempted to use Tackle here, because otherwise he's going to heal. Well, I guess that wouldn't be the end of the world. I might be able to knock it out. Oh, not quite. Oh my goodness, really a critical hit? Oh, wow. I mean, at least, um, you know, <laughs> at least I had that Oran Berry. 
And that's the most it did after a workup. I keep forgetting that Jitterbug actually has a lot of defense. So that's reassuring. But unfortunately, that did totally waste my Orin Berry. Alright, oh, he's going for the Lillipup right now? Shoot. Well, I guess that's okay. I haven't been hit with anything um, too treacherous, <laughs> like Leer or something. Oh man, and it's faster. Oh. Alright, we gotta steal that berry. Please have a berry. Alright, it had it. But that didn't do very much. Alright, come on. Now, see, that did not do double damage. I've heard some people say that Bug Bite does double the damage if, um... Alright, got rid of Lillipup. If you actually take the foes berry. But that clearly did not seem to be the case. Um, alright, so here's his p -dub. That is not something Jitterbug can fight in any capacity. And this is a Pokemon that he does not usually have. As a gym leader, I am to be a wall for you to overcome. Alright, uh, you need to work on your speeches there, pal. Uh, no sense in using defense, Curl. I mean, it'd be nice and all, but... It's just going to... Uh-oh. Mm, that did not do very much at all. And it might have big pecs, so I don't really want to go for a tail whip. Let's go for Ember. So I think we're speed tied. That's interesting. Uh oh. Work up. Yeah, one thing they really have to be careful of in this fight is using too much time. Oh, right. You used quick attack before. That's why I went first. Derp. <laughs> Although I do find it fascinating that my pig is faster than this bird. Okay, I think we got this. So, woohoo! This! This is what a real Pokemon battle is! Yeah. That battle has made me feel really glad you were my first challenger as a gym leader. I give you this in honor of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. Well, gee, thanks. It's such a basic looking badge. Maybe you should call it the basic badge. Oh, yeah, it is the basic badge. <laughs> All right, um, cool. And he'll also give me TM83. Work up! Well, that's good. Barely even worked up a sweat. All right, well, that's actually kind of convenient. Um, so took Charon out. Look at this bench. Oh, man. All right. Wish I could go. Oh, I can't go under here. That's so cool. All right, uh, we got to get out of here. Oh, uh, he's normally very difficult. In fact... Like, if he gets work up going, which oftentimes he does. I'm actually surprised he didn't do that. But if he gets work up going and then he heals, you're done. Um, he just did, like, one work up against me. So, thankfully, I had easy, Charon. Yoo-hoo! Oh, my goodness, how was it? How did your Pokemon battle go with the gym leader? Oh, if it isn't the basic badge! Wow, amazing! You just set off on your journey with your Pokémon! You definitely have potential as a trainer, I'm sure of it! This is from me! It's the DM for the move return! Cool! When a Pokémon knows return, the more it gets along with the trainer, the more powerful the move is! Still, that Charon... Bianca! It's been two years, hasn't it? Oh, wow! Oh my goodness, Sharon! What's up? I thought it would be a good idea to register each other in the cross transceiver. Oh, I thought you were talking about me, Sharon. Now you can communicate with me from your cross transceiver. M me too! I registered Professor Juniper for you too! Alright, the extra conceiver thingy is going. <laughs> I always intentionally mix it up. It's actually called cross transceiver. I think I keep mi mixing that up. Hi there, Nearly. I'm Professor Juniper. Bianca told me you accepted the Pokedex. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, we will all know more about Pokemon and will be able to get along with them even better. Hi, Professor Juniper. It's really interesting over here. There are so many cool Pokemon that we couldn't have proven were here two years ago. 
Thank you for going so far with this errand, Bianca. And Sharon, how are you enjoying being a gym leader, you little twerp? Professor Juniper, it's been a long time. I'm glad to see you're doing well. The gym leader position is very tough. I lost my first battle to this girl. If I had my usual partners. Oh, Sharon, you know what happened to them. You couldn't have them after you tried to take over the world two years ago. Oh, yeah, well, Sharon's a new gym leader. I'm an assistant, assistant Pokemon professor and nearly is a new trainer. But we always have Pokemon by our sides. That's right, Bianca. Our world is a world where we live with Pokemon. Everyone, keep that in mind as you pursue your dreams with your Pokemon. Particularly you, nearly. The Pokemon, or the Pokedex may be important, but first enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your heart's content. Some very wise words. Hey, Nearly! Isn't Professor Juniper cool? If you talk to her on the cross transceiver, she'll evaluate the completeness of your Pokedex or tell you a lot about how Pokemon evolve and stuff. And you could call us too, of course. I'll tell you how well you and your Pokemon are getting along, okay? Yeah, Bianca makes a good point. I'll tell you what I know about Pokemon abilities and type matchups and stuff, but don't call me too often. Are you the gym leader? One, two, three, let's battle! You look like a tough trainer. Understood. Come into my gym. I'm ready to lay down the smackdown on you. What was that? I'm gonna take you down! Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of Jaren for doing that. But anyway, the next thing is to make it so you can use the Sea Gear. The Sea Gear is a cool device for communications and so on, and it won't work very long. Because the uh, Wi-Fi communications are going down and stuff soon. Ah, all right. Um, no, I don't want the Sea Gear on. If you want to turn on the Sea Gear, touch the power symbol at the bottom right of the Sea Gear screen. Okay, yeah, that's great. I don't really care. Um, so we need to go to Verbank City now. Yeah, definitely got to do that. Oh, but I got to heal up my Pokemon first, of course. And I'm going to remove that Orin Berry because you know what? Uh, there is something about that. I want to hold on to that. Actually, I'm trying to think. I think I get Petcha Berries, which are very important, too, because the next gym leader, um, Roxy, she is going to be challenging. And I don't really have much of an option against her. But we're going to have to see about that. Oh, you already have a gym badge! All right, cool, I do. Wow, an Ultra Ball. Nice! Um, yeah, definitely glad to have that so early on in the game. Right, well, anyway, let's see where on earth to go now. I guess we gotta go all the way back to, uh, Flockacy Town. And, um, then I need to head on over to Verbank. Yeah, fun stuff. Um... Trying to think. So, as far as encounters go, I don't have actually anything too much coming up. Oh, let me make sure I have some Pokeballs. And maybe some potions. I didn't use any potions. So, I don't think I actually need any. Uh, what do you got? What do you got for me? Um, ooh, you know what? Having some antidote. Not a bad idea here. And uh, we'll have some paralyzed heal. It's just always good to have this kind of stuff, you know? And then, let's see, I got I got four potions. Well, let's buy two more. That should be okay. And then some Pokeballs. Let's just get ten so I get my extra Premier Ball. And just in case I run into anything really rare. Now, I don't get any new encounters, actually, until I get to the Verbank Complex. Because while I do get to go to a place where there are kind of some new Pokemon, if you count Venipede, uh, it's the same route, so... Hey there! Bianca, haven't I gotten rid of you already? I'm sorry, I forgot to upgrade the Pokedex that I gave you. I'm going to add the habitat list. Alright, thank you. Um, yeah, it's not going to do me much of any good. No, I don't want to hear it again. Um, alright, so she's telling me about the rustling grass. That's exciting. Alright, bye. Get out of here. Okay, so, Route 20 again. But now, where I, uh, where I can move on past, it's this guy! He was blocking my path earlier. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to fight him right now. I didn't even press A! It's like he sucked me in, like a vacuum or something. Jerome. He's got a Riolu. Mm. Gotta watch out for that, because it has counter. 
that's, uh, if you were paying extra careful attention while training, that's part of the reason why I did not fight it with a physical based attack, because not worth it. Counter is very bad, and it's not going for it. And it, this one specifically might not have it, but I do know that they get counter. And that could be very bad. So let's, uh, <laughs> speaking of very bad, All right, well, we took down Riolu, no problems there. Why was I so conceited as to think I could show you anything? Good question there, buddy. All right, so, uh, yeah, well, I can go right past... Ooh, look at that little squirt. Um... I guess I'll use Flamenco here. I'm the strongest trainer in Verbang City's preschool! Fight me! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Albert. He's got a Psyduck. Mm, wrong matchup here. Actually, that thing probably has Water Gun at this point. So, I should probably switch out Flamenco here. I mean, at least my level limit has increased. That's nice. Um, let's see, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, now normally I do end the um, episode like shortly after I've taken out the gym. But you know what, in thinking about it, I think the perfect place to end this would be before I get to Verbank City. But after I've cleared this area. That way I can cover Verbank City and the Verbank Complex in the next episode. And then the gym and the one after that. And then maybe Pokestar Studios. I've played this game so much. <laughs> Nearly, wait! Oh yeah, we got trouble. Come with me, you two. I'll show you how a real trainer fights. Hmm. See this dark, tall grass here? It's rare, but sometimes two Pokemon pop out at the same time. Also, the Pokemon that hide in dark grass are slightly stronger, so be careful if you walk through. If you're going to challenge the next gym, it's the Burbank Gym. These might help. I knew I got some Petra Berries. Here are some for you, almost. Both of you, do your best. If you need anything, call me on the cross transceiver. Well, that was fast, almost. Charon sure knows a lot, and he fought those Team Plasma thugs, too. I've decided I'm going to get stronger than him. You should do your best, okay? Fill up the Pokedex and have my back. Got it? Literally, have my back. I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, hi there. Hi there! Look at my awesome Pokemon! Oh my goodness, it's so good! Ah, oh, I'm gonna be so glad when I get a partner for, um... <laughs> for my little pup, actually. Because right now, he doesn't have anyone. I won't get one this episode. Also, that dark grass that you saw there... Um, great as it would be, and you can find Venipede in there, if I recall correctly. Um, it's still considered Route 20, so yeah. I already caught a Pokemon on Route 20. Jitterbug, so I unfortunately don't get anything there. Oh well, that's fine. But that's why I, uh, I didn't go to catch a Pokemon. Because it wouldn't do me a darn bit of good. I, I'm not mad! Well, you better not be. Huh, let's see. I think there's a double battle up here, too. Or maybe not. I don't even remember. I think... Ooh, maybe it's her that has a Dunsparce. Oh, yeah, there's a double battle. And I think... I think that lady there has a Dunsparce. And that's not exactly a good thing. Um, Let's fight it with Limbo. Probably slap or turn on Limbo just to see. I always give it my best when I'm around kids and Pokemon. Well, that's good. I have almost back, so there. Um, yep, done sparse. I knew it. I knew that there's always like something on this route that just it's kind of actually a pain. And I think it might have rollout. Ooh. All right, well, let's try frustration. Hopefully, I can two or three hit KO. That uh oh, that's not good at all. Uh -oh. Alright, just keep it up, Limbo. 
this could be bad. This could be very bad. I think I might be able to overpower it, but... Oh! Alright, um, yeah, this, this frustration had better knock out Dunsparce. Please? No! Oh, no! 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 Limbo! No! Oh, no! Ah! Ah! Uh... Uh, Jitterbug? Limbo! Oh, no. Alright, we gotta take this thing out. We must avenge Limbo! Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Razor Leaf, that's nice. Going up against the poison gym. Yeah, you're not a very good example for the kids. Limbo! Oh, no. That's awful! Alright, we gotta fight these two now. Two Pokemon! Strong and strong come together to become very strong! Uh, yeah. Oh, Limbo, though. Great, now I only have two Pokemon right now. Oh, great, and Sunkern. <laughs> Just when I was thinking, ah, oh, right, sweet, I can use Razor Leaf. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. I mean, I could, but I'll just Bug Bite Ember. Wow, one hit point off on that Dunsparce. One hit point. Seriously. Well, I guess that's that then. Um, yeah, so here we are at the entrance to Verbank City. Um, but I'm gonna cover that. And, uh, <laughs> the farewell, the send-off for poor Limbo! Oh, man, I have to give just one quick look at him. This isn't the send-off or anything. No! Limbo! He had such strong attack, too. Oh, man, poor Limbo. But, yeah, we'll, we'll do that whole send-off thing, uh, and explore Verbank City in the Verbank Complex in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Black 2 Wedlock. See you next time, Verbank. <laughs>